my name is Kat. Um, if you are new here, that's K-A-T. If you are not new here, hi. Um, basically, this is a different type of video than what I'm used to filming. Um, I had a completely different video planned. I filmed it a few days ago. It took a really long time to get it into the editor. So last night at 1 a.m., I said, I'll edit it tomorrow morning. And did I? No. So this is going to be an unedited version of me today. Um, so if I mess up, if I say something weird, if I'm just plain goofy and you can't handle it, I'm so sorry. Um, my editing skills aren't great and I really just want to make sure I get this up today because I'm already eight minutes late. So yeah, that sucks. But basically me and Theo are just laying here, having a good time. We decided to match today so he's wearing his Slytherin. Um, bandana because it's the only green he has to match me. I decided to dress a little Christmassy. Hopefully at some point we'll get into the spirit, but we're really not. But um, today I just basically I wanted to say, hey, I didn't forget about you guys. I know it's Sunday. Um, I'm thinking in the new year though that I'm going to start uploading uh, during the actual weekdays. Um, I think that might be a little easier, especially when we finally transform our office a little bit so um yeah so the new video that I wanted to post is part of a series um I literally only have part one of this series up I don't know when the rest will come so uh, maybe it is a good thing that it didn't get filmed today um but I thought why not do something a little different so we're just sitting here hanging out doing the do being comfortable and i was like you know i really just want to start answering these i feel like i'm never going to use these if i don't just start doing something so um if you remember my would you rather video i did the 3000 would you rather questions there is a 3000 questions about me book as well um, and it's just, it's simple, basic, just one, one word question, um, that you can answer, but I thought I'll take it a little further. I'll make it kind of like a diary entry. So welcome to my diary. So I answered the first question. I wrote it down. Yes, it hurts to write, but, um, I'm a writer, so I really don't care. <laughs> Hopefully one day I will be able to share one of my books with the world. I am fantasy romance uh, writer, so we'll see what happens there. There's plenty of those in the world, so maybe we won't be able to do it someday, but hopefully will. Um, this cute little notebook I got from Office Depot, I believe, like a few years ago, um, and it's just this, it's got the map of um, Europe on it, and it's also got um, quotes in it. So this first quote is from J.R.R. Token. Not all those who wander are lost. He um, wrote the Hobbit series and he also wrote um, Lord of the Rings. So I read all of those books. Absolutely love them. I would say read it again. Um, this person who put a quote at the top, I don't care to read it because I don't really like this guy. We don't either really like him he um he caused problems so I just answered this question so the question is question one what is your idea of perfect happiness so when I sat here I was like oh wow that's kind of a loaded question for first question um but I kind of just started writing so bear with me I'm just gonna read you my journal entry my idea of perfect happiness is mostly what I have right now. I'm happy with the simple things. I have a loving husband, a super great fur child, a roof over my head, family and friends, and a beautiful mind. But let's say I want to make it perfect somehow. How would I fix each one of the things I listed above to make it my idea of perfect? Let's start with my husband. For eight years, I've got to grow and hang out with my best friend. We've only been married for three though. So, um, we met in high school. I'll tell you guys that story some other time, but, but 
I do miss the old days, the days when he would try too hard to impress me, the days where he would say goodbye and it wasn't just a peck and a hug, but passionate and glue-like. Our days are busy now and very extreme. The per he pretty much works four jobs. He has a normal factory job. He's a lieutenant firefighter. He goes to school for EMT and fire science and helps take care of Theo and I. If I could make it perfect, I would find a way to give him more off time so he can do the things that he loves to do that didn't seem like work. Rock climbing, snowboarding, hunting, you name it. To make another thing perfect would be to have Theo more fully trained, of course, but to be able to give him a little brother or sister. I know it would help him a little since every kid he's been around seems to soothe his soul. But even if not for a human baby, another four-legged friend would do as well. To make the roof over my head perfect would be to make it all one level. As I said before, um, I am in a wheelchair. I use crutches. I have a lot of trouble with mobility. Um, my bedroom right now is upstairs. <laughs> Me and my husband have a bedroom upstairs. So I either need help getting up or down the stairs if I want to go up there or I crawl up the stairs or slide down them. So it's not that bad, but you know, every once in a while it's like, eh, why? Um, it would also be to have all the projects that we want to do already completed. To make family and friends would be to have them close again. I know with COVID it's been kind of hard. Um, it's been especially hard for a lot of us. I know people with chronic illness like me you don't usually get out anyway and it's fine not being told you you know not being told you can't go out but when you're told that you can't it's a totally different story and that just kind of like doubles down on the isolation I feel like so it's been kind of hard um so I've been calling my mom a lot <laughs> and um yeah so to be able to see them without fear of illness spreading to have them instantly understand that they mean so much to me without reminders. Um, next is to make a per to make perfect my beautiful mind would be to also allow myself to fully express what I mean without any more explanation. Um, I am autistic and I have other issues as well. I wouldn't say my autism, I guess, is an issue. I don't even really count it as a disability. But sometimes the words get all jumbled and um, I can't fully express my emotions or I can't fully tell someone what I need or what I want um, without it sounding rude or um, completely not understandable. So it's kind of, it's one of those things where it's just kind of hard to feel, um, you know, like I can't fully explain myself to people. So um, a lot of the times people won't understand what I'm saying and it'll be taken out of context, um, which is kind of a fear of mine for being on YouTube, especially with cancel culture being such a big thing. So if I ever do say anything wrong, please let me know so I can, you know, and you know, just educate me so I can understand how to say it better. Um, or make sense of it better so then it's not offensive or um you know because I, I think i'm a pretty likable hufflepuff but you know even hufflepuffs makes mistakes um yeah uh to add on to this would be to fix my body it's not to make it perfect necessarily but to give back all that was taken from it to remove the pain and to need and need for equipment um, so, like I said, I use a lot of equipment. Um, I'm in tons of pain. I take a lot of pain medications. If I could have that be fixed in any way, it would just be to have the body I had before I got super sick restored. Because um, even the pain that I was having from that isn't compared to what I'm having now. So... Maybe to just fix that. Um, and then I ended with, luckily, if I don't think about it too much, then my idea of perfect happiness already exists to me. 
and even right now today I wouldn't change a thing which is true to me I wouldn't change a thing about who I am or what I do um, I believe my past has made me stronger, even if it's not the past that other people would want to have. I believe my right now makes me stronger, um, you know, and it's not just to be, you know, an inspirational person. I don't plan on being like that, but I do want to feel relatable and feel comfortable in my own skin. I feel like um, being able to accept that everything isn't perfect and that it doesn't need to be is a big part of that and growing up and accepting who you are. So um, I'm just going to accept what I can't change, you know, uh, and I'm just going to live my life to the fullest and Hopefully have another probably more exciting video out for you guys next week. Um and I think that's I think that's about it. I think we got it done. So, you know, um please go like and subscribe to me as well. Uh if you want to see more content, not just like this, but other stuff um that I do as well. Um Make sure to go follow me on my social media. All that stuff will be written below. I haven't figured out how to link everything yet. Um, but I'm trying. I'm trying. Not great with computers, technology, all that kind of stuff. So um, that should be linked someday. Maybe I can ask someone who's good at technology for help. Um, but I am going to put some color street on my naked nails. And I am going to finish some pieces for the crafting earrings. Um, which you should go like, follow, social media, favorite, all that good stuff too. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.